<laughs> with that being said, he is a Nightfall hero along with the Warrior class baby. First things first, jump straight into his core skill, numero uno. Demonic Sacrifice. Here we go, one of these blood-soaking cringe. Hee honk, hee honk. Sparta Sacrifice, 30% of the current HP to enter Bloodthirsty for one turn and immediately takes action. Bloodthirsty. Sparta increases armor penetration by 18%, crit damage and crit by 18%, and normal attacks reduce the targets received healing by 50%. Jeez. Each 10% of damage dealt by Sparta will be turned into an attack bonus in this turn. Keyword in this turn. Attack bonus for a single damage dealt is no more than 50% of attack, and attack bonus for total damage dealt is no more than 300% of attack. Each 20% of damage dealt will be turned into shield bonus in this turn. Shield bonus for a single damage dealt is no more than 50 Oh my goodness gracious, 50% of HP. Okay, here we go. They, they, they summed it up. So we're going to jump straight into level 3. Okay. Sacrifice 50% of current HP for 35% armor penetration, crit damage, and crit for one turn. Hopefully that all makes sense. I get it. I got it. And I'm good. Okay. Devil's Rage. For every 15% of HP lost, increase attack by 10% up to four times. When HP falls below 40%, have a 50% chance to cast Scatter the Weak when attacked. Triggers up to once every turn. Level 2, increased attack by 50% for every 15% of HP lost. Level 3, 20% of energy, 50% HP lost. And level 4, which is 3 exclusive legendary relics, increased attack by 25% for every 15 HP lost. So pretty much he can get 100% attack if it happens 4 times. That's the max at level 4. Okay. Moving on to Scatter of the Week. Okay, here we go. This is what they're talking about, Scatter of the Week. Okay, let's see. Basic attack slash a random enemy in the same row. Same row. Random enemy. Dealing 120% of attack as damage. If the damage dealt exceeds 20% of the target's max HP, launch a combo slash dealing 120% of attack as damage. If the damage dealt by the first slash exceeds 40% of the target's max HP, launch a combo slash against all enemies dealing 120% of attack as damage. When there's only one enemy, this combo is always launched. Attack. Attack, 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 Level 2, increased damage to 150%. Level 3, increased damage to 200% of attack. And then 9 exclusive legendary blood red relics. First slash now deals damage equal to 230% of attack. Too easy. Moving on to Demonic Edge. Each kill grants one demon eye. Ooh which can be consumed to resist one instance of lethal damage. What? Recover 20% of HP for every enemy that dies. What? Level 2, recover 10% of HP after resisting lethal damage. Level 3, recover 20% of HP after receiving or resisting lethal damage. What? So if he gets one kill, then he pretty much has a lifeline. Yo, this dude's OP. Yo, Hero Clash, what were y'all thinking making this guy? This guy's OP. Okay. Awakening skill, we have Battle Roar. In the first two turns of battle, increase armor pen by 30% and armor by 30%. They can reduce some words by just putting them together and just saying it once. Okay. And moving on to Bloody Edge, exclusive gear skill. When an enemy takes damage, gain 2 points of speed and 2% debuff resistance. That can be 6 times for two turns level 10 three points of speed and three percent debuff resistance level 20 four points of speed and four percent debuff resistance and level 30 when an enemy takes damage gain five points of speed and five percent debuff resistance second six times for two turns when sparks hp drops below 40 percent increase the chance of a counter to 100 percent level 40 when the enemy receives crit Increase crit damage by additional 5% for two turns, stacking up to six times. Dude! Oh, man. Okay. Ruins time, y'all. Y'all already know. Attack, attack, attack. If you are a free-to-play player, I 100% recommend Apocalypse slash Judgment. Okay? However, I also do recommend... 
the trio, Judgment, Annihilation, plus Sin. Yes, many, uh, yeah, Sin, Jesus, I, I, I'm, too many plans. Jesus. Sin, if there's a lot of armor on the enemy team, but if there's not a lot of armor, then I would 100% just recommend Maniac, get a higher crit so you can hit a critical hit, okay? I don't recommend making a, him defensive at all. I just don't see that. Even when it came to the Skyline Realm events, the defensive version of him was absolutely atrocious, garbage, trash, and it's just he's a 100% offensive hero, okay? Now, when it comes to the paid ruins, Assault, man. Dude, Assault is just too OP on him. However, the new Dark Step ruins that are coming out very, very soon, or if you're watching this video in the future that are already out, extremely amazing as of right now. Now, they could change them before they're released. Hopefully not. I highly doubt it. But if they do, then I don't want to sound dumb like, oh, it's amazing when they actually suck. So, as of right now, absolutely amazing for him, either Assault or Dark Step. And I would go with Dark Step 100%. Okay. Now, moving on to, y'all already know, attack, 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 slash, and you could argue crit if it is a little low, okay? Now, when it comes to artifacts, jeez, man, um, I would go with lava amulet just because it's skill damage and critical damage if you have a high crit, okay? Holy Praise, I would go with, you could argue Sacred Splendor, but it's, yeah, I would go with Sacred Splendor. And when it comes to the Abyss item, 100%, I'm going to have to go with Devil's Vambrace. This is Sparta's Vambrace, 100%, yo, absolutely amazing, especially level 30. Oof, man. Okay. If you don't have that unlocked, then I would go with something that increases his attack or gives him the ability to attack twice, aka Drake and Scale or something like that. No, no, actually. An ally have Drake and Scale and he be the recipient of the energy. Yes, that's what I meant. Okay. Now, when it comes to talents, now this is going to be very, very specific. Since, it's, since he's only an offensive hero, I recommend 100% Precision Strike or Shadow Assault. When it comes to mythic talents, I have three answers. Weak point, if there is a lot of armor on the enemy team. If there isn't, then 100% giant killer. Now you're probably like, why giant killer in 99% of the scenarios with less armor? The reason why is because he's cutting his HP in half every time he does a skilled attack, which means if he has 20 million health and you cut in half to 10 million health to get that level three critical strike core skill, <laughs> then there's a high probability that the majority of the enemies on the enemy team have a higher HP than 10 mil. That's why. You could also equip Fatal Blow. However, it all depends on the enemy team. Sparta is one of the most specific heroes in the game where you have to analyze your enemy. Because if you don't, that could be the difference between him being absolutely amazing and absolutely useless. Yes, he's one of those heroes where if you don't apply him correctly, he's absolutely useless. Okay. Moving on to Transcendent Talents. Now, I would actually go with Wrathful Curse. I think it's the only good option. And when it comes to Eternal Talents... I'm going to have to slap on good old Violent Smash or, yeah, I'd go with Violent Smash. I think that's the best one. You could argue Rapid Circulation or Soul Gaze, but I feel like Rapid Circulation, uh, one, of the, one of those two. If you plan on going 5-10 rounds and Soul Gaze, but I, my number one choice is Violent Smash, okay? Now... When it comes to the skin of him, do I think it's worth it? That's up to you. I personally don't have it unlocked, and I don't want to focus on it too much, but I think this is one of the worst decisions they've ever made when it comes to making an exclusive skin. They have no correlation between the two. I, I just probably the worst decision when it, when it comes to the game, in my personal opinion. And we have more of this 
Behold the power of darkness. The power of darkness. Someone needs to be fired. Hee honk, hee honk. Okay, so with that being said, hands on the tutorial, they recommend Devil's Claw. I completely agree. Like, there's just so many good offensive abyss items for him or Devil's Horn. I also completely agree. Like I said, there's just so many good options for him. As long as it's an offensive artifact, then you have my votes. As long as you build the correct team and you build the artifact around Sparta and your plan. Okay? So, with that being said, I do think Sparta is one of, one of the best heroes in the game. While I do say he's one of the best heroes in the game, it does take a very specific team to make him one of the best. It all depends on the enemy team. However, there are specific S-plus heroes that pair up with him that are absolutely phenomenal, like Selena, like Avi, the whole nine. And we'll cover that in a future series after the Due Diligence series. If set up correctly, however, Sparta is one of those heroes. If you do not set him up correctly to the T, then he will be 100% useless. Yes, if you cannot hit certain hits, he will be more pointless than a broken needle, more pointless than a mechanical pencil without lead, more pointless than Anne Frank's drum set. Y'all get the picture. <laughs> <laughs> My final thoughts on Sparta, is he worth building 100%? Yes, however, he does take a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge and wisdom when it comes to playing Hero Clash. So I recommend not building him right away. I would wait probably six to nine months into the game when you get a firm grasp on Hero Clash and to work on just other heroes. Like I said, if you build him and you don't know what you're doing, you just wasted all that time and effort building a hero that you won't be able to use. So... In my personal opinion, I just finished building him last week, and he's been out for the longest time. And yeah, he has a main spot on my third team, but PvP-wise, mm -mm. when it comes to PvE, 100% yes, I think he's an absolute beast when it comes to PvE. However, y'all already know how I am. I'm not a huge fan of PvE. I'm all about PvP. So, yeah. With that being said, I'll see y'all in the next video. Selena, oh yeah, greatness manifested.